So this is really great for shooting macro stuff. You can focus right up to the lens in this mode if you're zoomed all the way out. Um, what it does not allow you to do with the pictures is then refocus to infinity, usually. So what you're doing is basically moving that refocus range in, and as you move it in, you lose infinity, and the more you move it in, the, the, you know, the less you can focus far away. So this is why we're, it's sort of an experimental thing and require people to be willing to take pictures that are not in focus, right, as they learn this mode, but it unlocks a lot of really interesting things, like taking close portraits of people from far away, you zoom in at 8x, you tap on them, you tap on them, and you can now refocus from their nose to their eye to their ear, uh, when it, you know, normally, uh, if you were to take a picture of someone far away, you probably have to back up, because the camera can only refocus so close, so there's a certain uh, you get around these, these limits that are built into the default mode of the camera. So it's really great for food shots or close-up shots of, uh, of, of interesting detail. And remember that when we unlock 3D, the amount of 3D is directly proportional to how much refocus you have in the picture. So a lot of these really interesting detailed shots of things that refocus really well are going to be incredible when viewed in 3D.